Hi students, uh, so I'm going to talk you through the moves that I see with this triangle square dance. So we've got one triangle up top, two squares underneath. I'm going to click this box that says show shadows so that I can see what happens when I move the little slider to the next move. It retains that shadow of where it was before. Without that button checked it looks like this. So then I just have to recall where it was before, but I want to be able to see that. So I'm going to have it show shadows. So when I move my slider, I'm going to move one position at a time. So my first move, it moves to the right. And my next move, oh, it did a rotation. Hmm, which way did it rotate? Okay, so I have my original shape in the background, and now my two, tri or two, my two squares are on the left side, so it must have turned... 90 degrees clockwise. So clockwise is the way the second hand moves around the clock. We can see that when moving a lot faster than the other hands. So it's the direction that uh, the hands on the clock move. Okay, so it's moved 90 degrees clockwise or one quarter turn clockwise. Now let's see what the next move is. Oh, moved up. That's easy to describe. Moved up and move to the left. And then my last one. Oh, it's another rotation. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so again, my squares were on the left side, and now they are down at the bottom. So I think I just like undid what I just did. So if I was going clockwise before, then this must be counterclockwise. So it moved 90 degrees counterclockwise. So one quarter t turn counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Um, is the opposite direction that the hands on the clock move. So as the clock goes around from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, we, if we were thinking about counterclockwise, that'd be backwards, 5 to 4 to 3 to 2 to 1. Um, so we can see those moves um, all the way through. So with this, the next activity, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to, uh, to click on Show Shadows, and you're going to click through that slider and describe those moves being as precise as possible.